Hi Sagittarius viewers. So the last reading I did, I was getting that your person almost caved in and reached out to you. This could be on social media, could be through call, text, whatever it might have been. It also might have been while they were drunk. I just get the, the energy of them getting in this really um, passionate kind of emotional, nostalgic energy and thinking about you and wanting to reach out. It looks like they do have one more karmic test to go through beforehand though. So it's almost like their guides are kind of trying to make them pace themselves. They're trying to slow them down just a little bit because they want to make sure that if they come back into your life that you guys do it right this time around. I feel like, well, just to reiterate for those that are new to my channel. So for this group of Sagittarius's, you know, we've been channeling a story of someone who has commitment issues over, I don't know, the past eight, nine months or so. And it's been a bit of a roller coaster. I mean, they've consistently gotten better, but there's sometimes when I'm, I'll channel them and it's like they've, they've kind of pulled back a little bit out of fear. But over time I have, I mean, it's, it's up and down. You know, healing is messy. It's chaotic. It's it's not just, you know, a straight line. It's not smooth. It's, it's you know, it's up and down. It, um, but it, consistently they have been getting better is what I've noticed, you know, especially the past couple months from when I channeled them. They're in this very spiritual, very high vibrational energy um, opening themselves up to life again. It's like they reclaim the person that they used to be or the person that they've always wanted to be. I feel like they lost themselves for a very long time and it just, I get the energy that they've gone through a spiritual awakening. I think that they've gone through a dark night of the soul this sometime within this past year. And now I feel like they're getting to the brighter side of that. Like they, they've hit rock bottom already. That was in the past, you know, within the past year. And now they're getting into that high vibrational spiritual energy where it's like they're building themselves back up. So, and you know, as you guys know, this person does have commitment issues, but their commitment issues stem from a fear of heartbreak, a fear of loss. It's definitely not shallowness. They might come off shallow to some people, but I think that you know them well enough to know that they are a very emotionally deep person. They're very analytical. They're a very deep thinker. They just don't show that side of themselves to most people. So this isn't someone who's, you know, normally I don't condone commitment issues. I'm like, if someone's got commitment issues, just let them go. But for this person, it, it, like I said, it's not out of shallowness. It's not just wanting to play the field or something like that. It's like they're they're genuinely just terrified. of. They have a very, very big heart. They're genuinely just terrified of getting their heart broken. Um, they're, they're scared of... Yeah, they're just, they're scared of that pain. They're scared of going through that again. But it really feels like, and you know, sorry to reiterate, I'll get back, I'll get into the reading in just a minute, but just for those that are new to my channel, um, it just feels like they've, they've really changed. Like I'm getting, I'm getting that new energy. Cause I feel like a lot of things happened this past year that were really, it's like they had like the best and worst year of their life. It kind of feels like, feels like it just really like marked a before and after period in their life. They've, they've done a lot of healing, um, you know, a lot of soul growth in a very short period of time, relatively short period of time. And it feels like they've come to this realization that they do want a family. They do want that home. They're tired of running. They're tired of going from job to job, relationship to relationship. They're, you know, they, they just, they had these epiphanies this past year. So they're really wanting to, um, they're really actually finally considering settled, settling down, even though a lot of them still are afraid of it. But anyway, let's get into the reading. Let's see what, where, they're at, where they're at now. I'm going to start off with Bibliomancy just really quick. This is a book I just bought called Love and Other Realms. It is by um, Melissa Combs. I'm going to read a couple pages from this, and then I'm going to get into the oracle reading. Okay. If your capacity to love has yet to grow, then I wish our story to be flesh stabbed by thorns to endure the pain as I love you for all that you are. So whatever that means to you, maybe some of you want to look at that, pause it for a minute, whatever that, however that resonates with you. Okay, one more, and then we'll get into the reading. Actually, I'll do both of these. Um, you are like the molecules of air in so many ways, invisible yet in constant effect to the world around me. And no matter how many times I breathe you out, inevitably I must breathe you back in. I stopped fully living in this world 
the day that I learned of you and of us and of the inner realm that we now share. Okay. Bibliomancy is basically just, you know, channeled messages from books. You just pick up a book, you, you, you know, intuitively choose, choose a page. All right, so they almost caved last time. They almost messaged you. Um, we've got one karmic test first. So what's going on with them now? What do you guys need to know? And if this resonates and you'd like a paid private reading, just email me. My email is right below this video in the description box. Any donations are also appreciated. Um, and please resonate if it subs or please subscribe if it resonates. <laughs> New love, faded encounter, shyness for rejection. Okay. You guys might actually be meeting someone new. X the past. So I'm feeling two different energies here. Make your move, green light. Hmm. Interesting. Domination, control. Kind of like a power struggle type energy here. Loyalty, stability, vows. Okay. What else? Mutual feelings, emotional depth. Toxicity, red flags, hidden motives, and publicity, social media, okay. Okay, guys, we finally have, like, a shift in energy. It's really interesting, because usually it's just all about the, the old person, but this actually feels like two people. So, I mean, it feels like the person I usually channel for you guys, you know, the, the ex that you guys have that's emotionally unavailable. But it also feels like a new person has either just come in or they're about to come in. And, okay, there's two different variations of this story. I mean, it's the same energy, but di two different variations. So, for some, you've either about, you're either about to meet or you have just met someone new. You might be feeling this energy like new love is coming in. And they might be shy and kind of afraid of rejection. And the ex might be aware of this energy to some, ex some extent. Maybe just like telepathically aware, like like on like a psychic level they're aware, but they might not be conscious of it. But it's making them want to fight for you because they're like, oh, hell no. Like I'm just getting the energy that someone's jealous here or someone's about to get jealous is coming through very strongly. For others... Um, this could be that the ex is actually the one that's shy and afraid of rejection. So I don't know if this is the new person or the ex that's shy and afraid of rejection, but one of them is, at least. Um, or both of them are, possibly. But for others, it's like you have this new love, and now the ex is kind of like watching, like, what the hell? Like, they're kind of shy, and they're kind of afraid of rejection now. They're wanting, you know, to know what's going on. Like, someone, someone here is afraid of getting hurt. But someone is making a move, like going forward. So this is this is either a new person that's coming in, and you're gonna open up to them about what the ex put you through, and you might be standing by the ex's side right now. You know what I mean? Like you're, you know, I mean this this group for this group of people, like your your person's not like a bad person. From if this is your story, that is like they're just they've been hurt a lot. They've gone through a lot. You know, they have that those commitment issues but it's almost like I feel like you might open up to this person about that and like kind of let them know and they might be like oh no like just I sense like a dominant energy like oh no you don't deserve that like you don't need to be waiting for this person anymore like you deserve to be treated like a queen or treated like a king like you don't like I just sense like the energy of someone being jealous and then competitive so either like I said two different variations so either like the new love is going to come in and they're going to like be telling you and showing you what you deserve and you're going to open up to them about the ex and then they're going to be like no you don't deserve that like they're going to try to get you to move on from the ex or it's the opposite where the ex is going to come back around finally because we did see that they had one more karmic test to go through and they might like their guides are kind of trying to get them to slow down but they might feel this energy change if you meet someone new. So they can, like, your exes can feel your energy. Because, like, sometimes people will think that they're playing hard to get and, like, they won't message their person for, like, a month or two months. 
But if you're sitting there thinking about them all the time, they can still feel that energy like they have you. Like they still get that sense that, that you, they have you on hold. So they might feel that energy shift that there's someone new in your life, even if they're not conscious of it. And the ex might get competitive and, you know, try to, you know, be like, okay, I have to make a move now. We might just like kind of push past our spirit guides and be like, no, we got to, we got to stop them from moving on. But I just get, yeah, I just, I just get this energy of someone being dominant, someone being kind of controlling and someone getting competitive. And then they're both going to get competitive with each other because of this energy. I sense some drama. Some of them are going to be causing some drama actually too. Because I feel like someone's, like, look at these energies. Look at how, male or female, either way, but, like, look how, like, like, alpha male or alpha female kind of energy here is what I'm getting. Like, there's, someone is an alpha. So this is either an alpha male or this is an alpha female. Either way. But someone's in that, like, energy. And the other person is, is wants to be an alpha, but they're not quite there. They're not quite that strong. Um, but I feel like, yeah, someone's just going to be really fighting for you. Someone's going to be making these promises to be loyal and stable and, you know, use your intuition to know what person it is because there's, like I said, two different stories here. So this could be the ex, um, that's getting jealous and coming back around, or this could be the new person, but one of them is an alpha and one of them is going to get really competitive over you and really, like almost possessive, but almost in like kind of a sexy way, not like a, not like a negative way. It's just kind of like, you see that kind of energy. It's like, it's not negative. It's just very like, they know what they want. Like they, they know they want you. There's no doubt in their mind about it. Um, and there's going to be mutual feelings here. I almost feel like it's the one that's like not the alpha that's going to get competitive and the alpha is going to be the one that's just like, no, you lost your chance with them. <laughs> like they're just going to claim you. Um, someone's claiming you like I'm getting that energy. Um, hmm. I get I get the sense of drama, though, too, because I'm this could be like specific just for a couple people. I don't feel like this is for most of you, just just a few of you. But we have toxicity, red flags, and hidden motives here. And then we have publicity and social media. So I'm kind of feeling like there's going to be some drama on social media. Like they're, like the person that's jealous and competitive is going to Facebook or like Instagram stalk the other person and like send you like messages and be like, you don't want them. They're not good enough for you. Like, look, they're talking to another person or look, like, look, who's, you know, like they're just going to like try to find dirt on them and and show you so that you'll you'll leave them or they're gonna like fight it like they're gonna like go at it on with each other on social media or like there's gonna be some like posts or pictures or something that cause drama does that does that make sense does that resonate like there's gonna be something on social media that causes some drama for a few of you what else is going on here? This is a good turn of events, though. This is interesting. I mean, it's nice that you guys have some new energy finally because it's been like, what, like eight or nine months now of just the same person, like the same story. I mean, consistently like going into your person's commitment issues. And it's not saying that we're just like dropping that person or anything. Like I'm still going to channel that person for you guys as long as you want me to, you know, but there's, it looks like there's a new person that's either come in recently or they're about to come into the mix. So it looks like I'm going to be, you know, unless this person goes away for some reason, but I don't see them going away. So it looks like we might have two people coming into, into your readings in the future. So that's good. And that's an interesting energy. But, you know, keep in mind, too, that I'm I'm channeling your energy. So, like, if you all just decided you want the new love, screw the ex, you're tired of, like, yeah, they're a good person, but you're tired of them not committing. Like, you, you know, I might just start channeling the new guys for you. It's, it's, it's your story. This is all, you know what I mean? Like, this is all your energy and your person's energy that I channel. So this this these cards really depend on you. Like, what I, you know what I mean? Like, the people that I'm watching, I'm channeling you guys. So, like, whatever... Like you have free will, you have the option to, you know, if most of you go for the new love, like that's going to come out more in my next reading. If most of you go for the X, that's going to, that's going to be the dominant energy in the next reading. You know what I mean? Like it's, 
the cards are going off of your energies, like your choices that you're making each day. Um, but yeah, it looks like there is some new love here. It's really interesting. Okay, any more messages? And like I said, if you want a private reading, my email is right below this video in the description box. Um, just send me an email. And any donations are appreciated. And please subscribe if it resonates. Overthinking, overanalyzing, self-sabotage. Adventure, honeymoon, vacation. This energy is almost throwing me off because it's like we've been working on this person for like months and months now. And I think some of you are just going to be like, screw it. I don't care anymore. Like you're going to meet someone new and you're just going to be like, you know what? Never mind. I don't want that ex anymore. Um, it happens. You know, it happens. Like sometimes you just get tired of that same energy. Um, I mean, I think your ex is getting it together. Finally, I am getting that energy that they are working through those commitment issues they really are like they are they are in this very high vibrational spiritual energy i feel like they've come through the dark night of the soul like they've they've changed they're changing more and more every day i am getting that energy even though they do still get scared like they, they have very deep commitment issues like stemming from childhood most likely so it's not like those go way overnight but they're way better off than they were a year ago that's for sure but some of you might just not want to deal with it anymore. Some of you are going to go on this, you know, vacation, honeymoon adventure, this new start with this new person. And you might, you know, I feel, I almost feel like this energy, this new love is going to come in out of nowhere. And you might pause and reflect and rest for a bit and kind of, you know, be in this like hermit kind of energy where you weigh your options and decide what you want. And you might just decide that you want to end this pattern this cycle with this other person like I said this is these are your stories so it's whatever you want do you know what I mean like I think some people don't understand that about psychics like they think that it's just like like the cards are just you know speaking for themselves like it's just this is what's set in stone it's like no no the cards are reading your energy I'm channeling your energies I'm channeling your person's energies so if you guys are watching this and you're like no I want the x then you know, collectively, like if that's what the energy is and that's what's, like I said, that's what's going to come out in my next reading. It's, it's up to you guys. This is your story. This is all your energy. So I hope you guys understand that, that, you know, what I get is dependent on you guys, you know, I mean, it's dependent on the choices that you make. It's dependent on what, where, where, what path you want to go down. But it does look like a lot of you are actually going to go for this new love and you're not even going to be expecting it. I think a lot of you have been holding out for this new person and trying to be patient with them. But I feel like your patience is kind of wearing thin. Um, and some of you, it's like you have been fighting for this person for a while. So like when this new love just kind of comes and sweeps you off your feet, you're going to be really questioning yourself. But I think a lot of you are going to be deciding to just to start a new chapter in your life, you know? You might get lost in that kind of hermit energy, overthinking, overanalyzing, self-sabotaging. And you want to make sure you don't self-sabotage, you know, like don't, there's like a, a very, a need for like temperance kind of energy here, like balance. Don't, you don't have to just jump into things and say, screw the X, but don't shut out a new connection just because you've been holding on to the X for so long and because it's familiar. You know, like you're going to really want to not make any hasty decisions. You're going to want to take a step back and really think about this and decide between the two people who's genuinely right for you. So there's, there's a strong need to really think about things before you jump into anything. I mean, just don't, don't reject the new person is what I'm saying. Basically don't, don't be like, oh no, that's not the path I had, I had planned for myself. You know, don't, don't be stubborn. Like if new love comes in, open yourself up to it. Even if it's not what you originally wanted or expected, it could turn out to be very beautiful. Um, there could be travel involved with this person or this person could live in another state or another country even. Okay. Any more messages here? Sense of belonging, home, safe space. And I just want to ask really quick, would any of you guys be interested? Would any of you guys pay like $7.77 a month to follow me on Patreon? Because I'm thinking about making a Patreon 
to do more in-depth readings and also to um, teach witchcraft and teach dream interpretation and maybe do like third party readings and uh, giveaways and that kind of thing. Cause I'm, I'm getting a lot of people that like are only wanting to know about the new person or they're only wanting to know about the ex. So I figured a Patreon might be a good option so that I can really go in depth and do both for you guys. So just wondering if there would be any interest in that if I decided to do, do that sometime in the near future. Um, okay. Sense of belonging, home, safe space, magic, intention, power. Nostalgia longing. So this is a soulmate, a past life connection. Could be soul contracts with this person as well. Feels like, hmm. Let me see. Let me clarify this. Let's clarify this energy. Anger and miscommunication. What the hell? Maybe this is maybe someone messed up and they're trying to like manifest you back now because you're their home. They're feeling nostalgic and this is a past life connection. I feel like this is the commitment issue person. You guys had some miscommunication or maybe even anger arguments in the past. Ooh. Stagnation, complacency. Yeah, it's like they've been stagnant, but I feel like feel like seeing you with this new person. Like I said, someone is going to be in a dominant. You're going to have an alpha. Like you're going to you're either going to be dating an alpha male or an alpha female. Like one of these people is in the alpha energy. One of these pre people is like assertive, dominant, like been through a lot in their life, like very experienced. Um but I just, I get that energy of jealousy and competitiveness. It's going to be really, you're going to be caught in this love triangle that you're not even expecting to be caught in is what I'm getting for this group. Stagnation, complacency. Yeah, I feel like the ex was stagnant and complacent and like seeing you with someone else, like they might be stalking your social media. That could be with the toxicity card with social media because these two came out together, toxicity and social media. So I feel like there's something toxic, some kind of red flag or some kind of negativity or drama that's connected to social media. Um, and I feel like maybe they came out together because, you know, maybe they were just saying that someone's going to get jealous or there's going to be, God, what is going to happen on social media? I don't know. There's going to be something on social media. I forgot where I was going with that. I swear. Um, yeah, stagnation, complacency, risk, reward, bold gesture, choosing love over fear. Oh, yeah. So, like, they might be seeing you with this person on social media. Like, you might be posting pictures to make them jealous. Or you might, like, you might just genuinely just meet someone and, you know, they add you on social media or something. And your person's like, who the hell's this person? Like, why, why are they adding you? And they stalk their profile, like that kind of energy. But I feel like, yeah, I feel like that's almost as what it what it takes to get them out of stagnant energy. Like that's what it takes to get them to to realize this. They need to take this risk. They need to choose love over fear. I feel like that fear of loss is finally going to be greater than the fear of commitment because they're going to see you happy with someone else, and they're going to get scared and they're going to try to pull you back in. Or this could also be the new person that was stagnant and they were kind of alone and depressed. And then it's like you come into their life and you stir this passion up inside them. You know, it could be both. But it just feels like, yeah, it feels like someone's about to get really competitive. Someone's about, yeah, apology, regret, truth and clarity. Yeah, being, being honest about their fear of commitment. Possible third party. Yeah, third party. True love, potential life partner. So you, one of these people is a potential life partner for you is what I'm feeling. One of these people is a potential life partner. It's a really beautiful energy. So anyway, like I said, if this is your story and you want an in-depth reading, just send me an email. My email is right below and uh, donations are appreciated and please subscribe. Thank you guys for watching.